beautiful fish. Oh my gosh. She's not screwing around. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And boom goes the dynamite. Doggone it. <laughs> Torpedo. Woo! Woo! Huh? Oh, I love it so much. Worst netting job ever right here. Every time I come to the Dalles, I forget how warm it is up here. So luckily I had a quick dry hoodie, but uh, no quick dry pants. So it would have been fine. I had shorts in the car, but I didn't bring any sunblock. Not enough anyway. I brought just a little bit for my face, but not like a spray or like lotion or whatever. Just a little stick. Anyway, so you make do. Just wear your normal pants in the boat. The good news is since they're not quick dry, they're keeping me nice and cool. So we just put in at the Port of the Dalles main marina there, and it's blowing everywhere else. We driving up the gorge that we saw, it's blowing really hard. White caps, get up here, it's glass. So we're fishing for smallmouth bass today. It's been several weeks since I've gotten out on the water uh, since Coos Bay uh, because of school starting for my kids and because I've been sick so I'm super stoked to get out here I you know honestly I just want to catch a few fish I haven't got a decent smallmouth for angler of the year yet so it's kind of my goal is to catch like a decent smallmouth hopefully 100 160 points which is 16 inches or bigger but I'm also still getting better I've got a sinus infection so I can't push it too hard today. The nice thing about this place is you launch and the fishing's like, you know, less than 300 yards away. Um, so yeah, it's a great, great spot for kayaks. This is Redbeard's already up there ahead of me. So catch the first fish, the last fish, the biggest fish. Spry catch, 10 pound pike minnow. Something crazy will happen. She always catches something. This is Redbeard, I already got one. I didn't take long. I think it was our second or third cast. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try a couple different things today and see what works. I'm starting with a Ned rig on an ultralight rod. Well, I consider it ultralight for bass. It's not an ultralight for trout or whatever. But. Okay, So it's not a monster, but looks like it's about 13 inches. So I am going to measure it just in case it's super slow today. Get some pictures. Feels good though just to have a fish in the boat. It's using an orange colored Ned rig. Not supposed to, you know, look like a crawfish belly. Again, not a huge fish, but I'm excited to catch it. And might not be quite 13. It's 12 and a half, but you know, today I'm gonna take what I can get. Got a good fish on, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep it on. Wish I was using my heavier rod. I'm in a little bit of current here, which is nice. Oh, he's actually not that much bigger than the last one. He's fighting like the devil. Oh, he's a little bigger. He might go 14. All right, let me get out of this current measure. Woo! Feels good. Oh man, that was fun. I didn't think when he, he was down about 14, 
15, 16 feet. I didn't think there was any chance in heck I was gonna get him out of there. He was in the rocks and fishing with an ultralight. Sometimes I get, you know, twice as many bites, but half as many fish. But sometimes it's worth the, the gamble to get a decent fish. I don't know why I've just always gravitated towards lighter rods and reels. Yeah, he's not even that big. This rod made him feel big. One thing I love about the Ned rigs is I almost always get a good hook set. I, I don't lose very many fish on the Ned rigs once in a while, but it's almost always right in the roof of their mouth or right in the side of their jaw. Didn't get my measuring board wet for that last one. It's a good idea for the health of the fish to get your measuring board wet. It doesn't disrupt their slime layers much. Yeah, that one's about the same size as my last one, but man, he fought well. That was fun. I gotta remember on this ultralight rod not to get my hopes up. Yeah, she's gonna tape out almost exactly the same size, so I'm gonna let her go. She's about 13. So. Beautiful fish. I'm blessed to catch such a nice fish and super lively. Let her go and get bigger. Straight down, man. She's not screwing around. <laughs> Torpedo. If you're a smallmouth fisherman, when you see structure like this, like your heart just sings. Like this is so nice. I mean, it's just beautiful. I love this rocky outcroppings, man. I could fish these all day, even if I'm not catching fish. And the water's so clear up here too. You can like, I don't know, I'm seeing 12 feet down or so, at least. This is why I don't film all the time. I get caught up about half the time. I'd really like to get just one bite on camera today. That'd be nice. Just one. You guys probably think I get my fish at the fish market and then just, oh, look at this one I got. Shake it around a little bit. How many have you caught? Two. How many have you caught? Five. No, you haven't. I caught five fish. BS. To the boat? Yes, to the boat with my hands on. You want me to start taking pictures? I've been watching you caught five fish. You are, me over there. are you like, kidding oh, me? All right, well, I gotta stick with the Ned rig. I worked this area with the swim bait. Zero bites. First cast on the Ned rig. Another fish on it. I'm tempted to say it's big, but I said that the last two times. Looks like it's about the same. Oh, what a. Beautiful fish. Oh my gosh, it's like glistening green, but like iridescent green. Oh my worst netting job ever right here. I got her. She might be a little longer, so. <laughs> Look at the spots on her. Isn't that beautiful? Oh man. Let's get her in the water. All right, revive her a little bit. So I've had the camera curse today. That being that whenever the camera's on, I can't get any action, so we'll see. I'm loving this spot up here. There's another pinch point where the current comes in. It's like dead calm everywhere, and then these little pinch points, there's just enough current up above us that it causes a flow through here. And the fish are just laying on the bottom right there in like 14 to 20 feet of water, maybe 10, 10 to 20 feet of water. Just belly down, waiting for something to come by that looks tasty, and apparently this looks tasty. So get up here and do it again. These fish are an absolute hoot on this rod. This is like a lightweight six to eight pound line rod. Absolute hoot. And you, I really like a lighter rod for the Ned rig because otherwise I can't feel what it's doing, you know, on a heavier rod. So I've, I've fished them on heavier rods and I just don't enjoy it, so I don't do it anymore. But you can, you just won't feel it as well. And sometimes, whoops, super pro. And sometimes the bites are really subtle on the Ned rig too. So if you, uh, can't feel it, you might miss it, you know. This 
this line sucks. Thought I had a fish, but it's a snag. Shoot. <laughs> the camera curse lives on. There, it busted off. Shoot. <laughs> you guys, I can't make this stuff up. I swear to God. My camera was on, I got caught up, I had to bust it off. I tied on a new one, I swear on my life. First cast with the camera off. And I think it's my best fish of the day so far. I don't know, maybe it's just fat. I don't know, man, it fought good. <laughs> yeah, that's a beautiful little fish. Look at that. Oh man. I love the colors on these guys and the, the patterns, that tiger stripe pattern. Let's see what this guy goes. I did get that wet. You know what? He's only going to get me another quarter inch, so I'm going to let him go quick. All right. There's one. All right. <laughs> oh, man. Giving this little rod all it can take. This might be a little better fish. I've said that five times now. Oh, no, that is a better fish. I gotta get this one in. This is probably 16 inches. It's kind of what I'm looking for today, this this size. Oh, okay, I gotta keep her under the water. She's gonna shake it good if she gets above the her head above the water. Got it hooked okay, top of the mouth. Please don't spit it. Oh boy, don't poke him out of the water. Got, got her. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Woo! <laughs> oh, what a beautiful fish on the ultralight. Oh, I love it so much. Oh. Well, she's getting measured for sure. I'm shaking. That was so much fun. And I got it on camera. Amazingly. Hope that that looked good. Hope it was a good fight. She has got a lot of fight left in her, so I'm going to be a little careful here. I really want this one to measure for her. There we go. How about that? Oh, what a beautiful fish. Trying to long arm her too bad there. <laughs> I'm stoked, man. Oh, yeah, let's see what she goes here. I'm going to leave the, leave the lure in her mouth. I learned the hard way of taking pictures of big fish. That they love to jump off the... Uh, the old measuring board, so I leave the lure in their mouth. It gives me a little bit of insurance, it's not worth much, but also leave the net underneath you, and if they flop off, sometimes they flop back into the net. So, your mileage may vary. All right, my fifth fish of the day. Nice 17 incher. She feels heavy. I'm gonna get her back in the water. Thank you, big girl. Go get even bigger. All right. Whew. She took off like a rocket. She wasn't having none of me. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! Oh, it feels good. All right, last time I talked to Christine, she'd caught five, and that was my fifth, so... I might even have a shot of beating her on numbers, so we'll see. So, Christine came around the corner. I thought I might be doing all right. Hey, we got double. I got one on. I thought I might be doing all right, but she said she's got 10 now. Oh, this is 11. This is my sixth. Oh, hey, this might be a good fish. Oh my gosh, it's fighting. Look at my rod tip, man. It's just thrashing. Oh. Oh, 
that's a nice fish. It's not bigger than my last one, but it's a good fish. 16 probably. Oh boy. Not ready to come in. <laughs> yes. She's off like a turtle. Oh, 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 come on. Super pro. Pitching into the trees. Only the best know how to do that. Oh, shoot. These Ned rigs on the ultralight are so much fun. I just keep my finger right on the line and then like you can feel the slightest little tick and I'm using monofilament it's not even it's not even super line you know that you can feel the slightest tick. I only got you know 14 feet of line out it's like Christine got a rockfish oh man I hit it the second I started reeling up another fighter man oh I'm loving this that's eight for me I'm catching up to Christine oh. Oh, come on. this one is fighting hard but it's one of those 13 13 and a half 12 and a half cookie cutters All right, that's eight. She's got 11, I think. 11 or 12. All right, off you go. Wonder how long that thing was following it because it was just sitting there, dragging along the bottom, innocent as could be. And then the second I start reeling up, it snatched it up, and that was great. Well, I had just tied up Christine, 11 fish each. Uh, making a comeback and then I got my 12th fish. She got her 12th fish. You guess I got it? Pull it up. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, that's a good one. 15 inches or so. And then I latched into what might be my personal best smallmouth ever. I'm not sure. It looks big in the net. We'll see. Still fishing the same setup. I was just getting ready to eat. I wasn't even holding the rod. The Ned rig was just sitting there, slow dragging on the bottom. And boom goes the dynamite. Uh, no. Yeah, 18 and a half. That's my personal best. Small mouth. 18 and a half. Oh, there she goes. Oh. <laughs> I am so ridiculously happy about this. Oh, she totally slimed my phone. Awesome. <laughs> and it was a double. She had one on at the same time. A good one. I'm actually kind of glad that I got the 17 incher on camera instead of this one because it wasn't a very interesting bite. I was literally just sitting there. My rod tip just kind of doinked and set it. And I was like, oh, it's a decent fish. And then I saw it. I was like, oh my gosh. And then it took off, you know, freaked out. All right, my battery's really close to being dead. But more importantly, the wind just came up, like out of nowhere. It's been dead calm all day. And then uh, it just came up. So it's really not bad at all yet, but um, it is supposed to pick up this evening. So we're probably gonna call it quits. I ended on lucky number 13, my personal best smallmouth, which I'm super excited about. And Christine's got 12 so far, but she's still fishing. So she'll probably at least tie me. I wanted to uh, 
tell you guys, I almost didn't come out today and I, I'm fighting a sinus infection, which I get a lot of those. And if, if you've never gotten a sinus infection or you don't get them regularly, uh, they're terrible. They suck the life out of you. And uh, I get brain fog and fatigue. And getting out here today was the best possible idea. I mean, thank goodness I have Christine to help out. You know, she helped me load the cacks and everything. But just getting off the couch is the hard part, you know? But <clears throat> I got out here and I had an awesome day. It didn't hurt that on this side of the mountains, the air is so much drier. My sinuses are all dry right now. They feel super good with no meds. So that's awesome. Um, but I never would have caught my personal best small mouth if I hadn't just come out here and done it. And I know a lot of you already know that kind of stuff, but it's like a lesson I have to keep teaching myself over and over and over. Because when I'm laying on the couch not feeling good, it just seems like this is too far away, too much work, too much to do to get ready, too hard, I'm too tired, I want to stay in bed. You can have modest expectations, I slept in, you know, but I got out here and had an awesome time. So just trying to encourage you, even when you're feeling bad, use those weekends, use those days off, make you see your time, you'll be glad you did. And you might catch your personal best smallmouth. Happy now, we officially tied. We tied! Lucky 13 for both of us. Is that your biggest one of the day? Uh, 16, yeah, yeah. We both ended on a good one. On 13. <laughs> <laughs> and we both used different...